Well, hello, my friends. Hope you're doing amazing today. And as always, I thank you for taking a few minutes out of your day to join me on this video. Now, this last week, I had a great opportunity to co-host a podcast. And the subject of this podcast was stress. And one of the things that came up while we were talking about stress is the idea of stress eating. You know, that kind of meal you have or that treat you have after a stressful day, you feel like I deserve this, right? And that's kind of, I think, in my mind, I guess, a close cousin to the idea of comfort food, right? That food that makes us feel good. Now, I've talked in other videos about how I worry about this type of eating because it's kind of tied to emotions and it's not really self-care. But I also know that there's going to be those times where you just feel like you need those sort of things. You're, but what my suggestion to you is to make sure that you contain that that situation. You know, because it's real easy once we have that first meal and it feels good or that treat or whatever unhealthy item it is, right? Because typically they're unhealthy. We tend to give ourselves permission to keep doing it again because it feels so good. And you think, well, Kirk, well, if it feels so good, why shouldn't I keep doing it? Because ultimately it's not really good for you. It's not really who you are. It's not really an expression of your fitness and your greater self. So what I suggest in terms of containing, containing these meals is, you know, like a lot of people do cheat days, right? I consider, consider this a cheat meal. You say, I need this for whatever reason. This makes me feel good. But I know, remind yourself, you know it's not good for me. You know you can't eat like that all the time. And you kind of contain that. You kind of isolate that to one or two meals and every once in a while. And that way you can still stay on your fitness goals because ultimately achieving those fitness goals is going to make you feel way better than that special unhealthy treat that you like to eat. So that's my thoughts on stress eating. I hope that helps you. Of course, if you want to know more about the RBT program, you go to rbtshow.com. There's my coach, Coach JLo. You go on rbtshow.com forward slash Jennifer hash, uh, slash Lopez and you find her. But I've made it even easier than that for you this week. I updated my website. You go to kirknermy.com. Something you should be doing every day, right? Going to kirknermy.com. There's a link right to her website, and you can start beginning your fitness journey with her and hopefully get the kind of results I am because I'm down 23 pounds in about 17 weeks now and more to come. So thank you for watching, and uh, have an awesome week.